Welcome to the Virtual Museum, a repository of authentic and evidence-based curriculum resources created, collected and curated to enhance healthcare students' and clinicians' empathy skills. The design and development of the Virtual Empathy Museum was undertaken by members of the Empathy Initiative Research Group and the project was funded by an Australian Technology Network Grants Scheme for Excellence in Learning and Teaching. 2018. Few healthcare interventions have as much impact on a person's physical and emotional well-being as empathy. Yet, many healthcare programs only pay lip service to the teaching of empathy. Our aim in designing the Virtual Empathy Museum is to equip educators with a diverse range of resources they can use for teaching and measuring empathy. The resources have been purposefully created so that they can be integrated into curricula or used as standalone teaching and learning activities. And we encourage you to use them in flexible and innovative ways that align with your subject content and learning outcomes. In developing the Virtual Empathy Museum, we acknowledge that empathy is a multidimensional construct and one that is defined in multiple ways in the literature. For the purpose of this project, we have conceptualised empathy as a continuum comprised of three interlinked stages. The perceiving stage is informed by one's moral stance and includes emotional resonance with the sensory and affective cues displayed by another person. The processing stage, which requires the affective and cognitive ability to recognise and appreciate the feelings, perspectives and worldview of another person, and the responding stage, an altruistic motivation informed by feelings of concern for a person who is suffering, which manifests as helping behaviours. Interwoven within the three stages of the empathy continuum are a broad set of attributes and abilities that need to be mastered through deliberate practice and deep reflection. It is these attributes and abilities that the resources within the Virtual Empathy Museum have been specifically designed to address. The Virtual Empathy Museum is comprised of seven rooms. On the left-hand side of the museum foyer are the Humanities Rooms. On the right-hand side are the Experiential Rooms. And in the middle is the Meditation Room. By scrolling over the foyer, the live links will become evident and you will be able to explore the museum in more detail. In the Film Room there are six reviews, each designed to enhance learners' empathetic intelligence and appreciation of the meaning of illness. The human stories portrayed in the documentary style and fictional films will engage learners and promote vicarious learning experience in ways that inspire, educate and transform. Scrolling over each image presents a summary of the content and the actual resource can be accessed by clicking on the image. In each room, a brief overview of the related evidence is provided in an information folder. Next is the reading room, where we have provided book reviews that can be used to enhance learners' aesthetic knowledge and empathic imagination. Each review is supported by discussion and reflection questions that educators can use or adapt for inclusion in their teaching or assessment items. Literature does much more than provide a story. It enhances understanding of people's lived experience of suffering and improves the capacity for responding to others with unconditional positive regard. The Art Room provides reviews of classical and contemporary works of art along with related discussion reflection questions. The reviews focus on blending the art and science of healthcare and can be used to enhance learners' skills in observation, perspective taking and critical thinking. An emerging body of evidence has identified how the study of works of art can improve learners' ability to read people and interpret subtle cues such as facial expressions and body language. In the left-hand side of the museum is the simulation room, where a number of evidence-based simulations and toolkits are provided. There are four e-simulations and two immersive simulations. Each target people from vulnerable groups known to experience healthcare that is too often devoid of empathy. The simulations focus on empathic care of older people, those who have experienced an acquired brain injury or who have cerebral palsy, people who hear distressing voices, larger people and those from culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds. The simulations allow learners to stand in the patient's shoes and see the world through their eyes in order to gain new insights into their feelings, perspectives and needs. 
the simulation toolkits also provide a range of evaluation instruments. Digital stories are the modern expression of the ancient art of storytelling. In the Digital Storytelling Room, we share six media-rich, authentic stories told in first person by people from a range of backgrounds. We introduce you to Haya, who shares her journey of coming to Australia as a refugee from Syria. Iona describes the challenges of overcoming traumatic brain injury. Eloise tells her story of domestic violence and what drove her to eventually leave her partner. Greg shares what it is like to be homeless and the stigma that surrounds him. We also hear from a range of individuals and couples about what the experience of ageing really means. And finally, John describes his journey of stroke recovery. Each of the digital stories enable exploration of reality from different perspectives. They promote empathic reflection and allow for a re-examination of one's attitudes, preconceptions and biases. In the resource room, we've included a collection of links to diverse, high-quality, web-based resources focused on the concept of empathy and the importance of empathic interactions with people from vulnerable groups. Finally, in the meditation room, a brief introduction to the practice of mindfulness and meditation is presented. We outline how loving-kindness meditation in particular is an effective strategy to promote empathic humility, improve self-awareness and reduce compassion fatigue. We've included audio recordings of a 10-minute and a 30-minute loving-kindness meditation and links to a range of resources about mindfulness and meditation. If you have any comments or questions about the Virtual Empathy Museum, please email one of the team members. We will provide updates about the museum and our empathy research at our Empathy Initiative website. The Virtual Empathy Museum has been designed to inspire and explore, to challenge traditional teaching approaches and to transform understandings of empathy as a requisite skill for all healthcare professionals. We hope that using the museum in your teaching will ultimately equip graduates and clinicians with the skills needed to provide high quality health care that is empathic and person-centred.